Rockstars, Lid Shaw, Recording Studio Rockstars. We're here at AES New York City 2017. I'm at the Isotope booth. Jeff Manchester. You got it, Jeff Manchester, product specialist with Isotope. Um, and I just wanted to give you a chance, Jeff, to show us what's new. Yeah, sure. I mean, on the screen right now, we have tonal balance control. We developed this sort of plugin to help people um, get better mixes and masters and help them translate. Tonal balance is the sort of amalgamation, the sum of all the frequencies that make up all the tracks and instruments in your mix or master. And having great tonal balance means that your mix is going to translate well between the car, the club, iPhone speaker, laptop speaker. So we have this here for people who maybe don't have a great room. I, I'm glad you mentioned all those things because those are all the things we talk about all the time having problems with in there. Why don't we, if we step up close, maybe we'll be in the shot and we can uh, sure. just point at the screen and stuff. So basically, we see these green overlays here, and they're separated between low, low mid, high mid, and high. And what we're seeing here is one of our three targets. We have modern, bass heavy, and orchestral. We develop these targets by listening and analyzing to thousands and thousands and thousands of mixes, some well regarded, some not so well regarded, to come up with a kind of gut check for you. And in modern, for example, we have these uh, green overlays and the white lines represent, if we were playing some music, they represent where we stand, where we stack up with the overlays. And making sure that we're within the bounds of these overlays will ensure that we have a nice, well, totally balanced mix. So that's the sort of germ behind the idea. And as I was saying earlier, people don't have great speakers, great rooms, or 10,000 hours of ear training. That's why we came up with this. Or 10,000 hours of time to experiment with their mix to tra and listen to it everywhere either. Exactly. Well, very cool. So now, is this a standalone plugin that we would instantiate right in our, our DAW? Yeah, absolutely. It, it's separate from Ozone and Neutron, but it, it sort of works with them uh, thanks to an, a communication protocol we say uh, we call uh, inter-plugin communication. So right now, as long as I have this instantiated here on my master bus, I can, with this drop-down menu over here, call up an instance of Neutron, make a mixing EQ move, or call up an instance of Ozone on my master bus and make a mastering EQ move, all in the effort to get better tonal balance. Cool, so this is like the final word measurement tool on our mix as we're mixing. This is the gut check before your mix goes out to the market. That's the way we like to think about it. Visual analysis, we have an EQ again that we, if we pulled up this tab, we could see it, but this is your sort of like, I'm gonna bring this to the market, to the club, whatever, I wanna make sure that it's totally balanced. This is the gut check. Awesome. So I mentioned so, earlier that we can actually action an EQ from either Neutron or Ozone. And what I mean by that is, look at this. I've got my bass track over here, tonal balance. I'll bring it out of the way. So I'm on the EQ side of Neutron 2. And I've got my bass track. I'll call it bass EQ just for clarity. You'll see why I'm doing this in a moment. And now I can go here in the drop down menu, find the bass EQ, and I can actually action the EQ right from here and watch those moves mirrored in both the Tonal Balance EQ and the Neutron EQ. That's because it's not a ghost EQ, it's the same one which I can action here to achieve a better tonally balanced mix, especially in the low end where you know the bass resides. And the same is true of Ozone. So if I close this and bring up Ozone, which is on my master bus, I'll call this guy Ozone EQ again, same thing. EQ, there we go. I can find my Ozone EQ right there and make some moves too. Maybe I want to make a mastery move to get this line, which is sort of hovering over the north end of that uh, boundary, get it down by making a bit of a cut, and you'll see my moves again are mirrored. So this is all possible thanks to inter-plugin communication. All the plugins are talking to each other, or at least aware of one another, all in an effort to get you a better, more tonally balanced mix or master. That's awesome, man. Well, so um, why don't we uh, tell the rock stars where they can go if they want to check this out? Is it possible to get a, a trial or a demo or anything like that? We have free trials for this uh, this set of tools for 08N2. Uh, if you own another Idesto product, we have cross-grade options, upgrade options. I would encourage people to go to our website, go to their account, and see if there's an upgrade coupon in there. We have introductory pricing on right now, I believe until the end of the month. So there's any number of ways to get our plugins. And yes, free trials, they can try them before they buy. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks so much for take, giving us a walkthrough, Jeff. Not a problem, thank you. Um, Rockstars, please remember if you like this video, like, subscribe, share, and drop in a comment below in the comment section and let us know how you think you would use these plugins in your studio on your mix. Where do you think these would come in handy? What would you like to see them do? Thanks for watching. Cheers.